Over the last seven or so years of my dividend investing journey, I can safely say that one of the most important aspects to building a long-term dividend growth portfolio, like mine as you see right here in the screen, is stock picking or picking the right ETFs to add to your portfolio, and of course, staying away from those bad ones. Now, stock or ETF picking in the early days can be pretty tough because when you're just starting off, you don't have the resources or the whereabouts to even know where to start to research different stocks, ETFs, etc. But in this video specifically, we're going to go over five free resources, five free websites that I use to this day on a consistent basis to do all my stock and ETF research and how I personally pick all my stocks and ETFs basically to this day. So if you're currently building out a long-term stock portfolio, stick around because I promise this is going to benefit you. Real quick for those that haven't already, make sure to go to the first link in my description and grab my new dividend investing ebook where I share exactly how I went from $0 invested to now earning over $6,000 on a monthly basis and over $1 million invested in the market. Along with the ebook, you're also going to receive my custom dividend tracker where you can track your dividend progress on an ongoing basis and reach your dividend investing goals. So make sure to grab yourself a copy of my dividend investing ebook and the new dividend tracker today it's the first link in my description so before we go through these five different websites these five different resources on what i use to do my stock and etf picking i wanted to first say that i personally as of right now at least filming this video am not sponsored by any of these different websites and i personally do not use the paid versions on any of these websites i'm going to go through now, some of these might offer paid versions, but like I said, I personally do all my stock and ETF picking and all my research without it. But the first resource, the first website that I think I use the most out of anything when it comes to the stock market is definitely SeekingAlpha.com. Now, SeekingAlpha.com has a ton of different articles, a ton of different analysis of different stocks and ETFs basically on a daily basis. But my favorite thing about this website is basically coming up right here to the search bar, typing in any different ticker symbol, typing in any different company. And basically with a click of the button, you're going to see every single stock and or ETF populate and get a ton of useful information basically within a millisecond. Now, as far as using SeekingAlpha.com to research things like ETFs, which I'm a huge fan of, there's different tabs like summary, which shows you different charts over different time frames, shows you exactly how different ETFs or of course stocks also, how they have performed over time. But also with ETFs, I love this tab right here. It shows holdings. So with ETFs specifically, because they are exchange traded funds, you're going to be able to see the holding breakdown and you're going to even be able to see some of the top holdings within the ETF, which is super useful just to get an idea of what different ETFs are holding what. Now there's tons of other tabs to go through, but one of my other favorite tabs to utilize on SeekingAlpha.com specifically, especially as a more dividend income focused investor like myself, is clicking right here on dividends. And then right there, it shows you things like the dividend yield on a trillion 12 month basis. It shows you things like how much the dividend has grown over time or dividend growth rate to be specific. And then you can even click on dividend history and see tons of different dividend payouts over time and see exactly how much whatever stock or ETF you're looking into has paid shareholders every single month or every single quarter. Now, and along with that, SeekingAlpha.com. I love using the charting feature where you can basically stack up different stocks to ETFs and select different metrics, see how different things have performed over time. And again, this is definitely going to help you specifically make your best stock picks and ETFs picks for that matter in the future. Because what I've learned over time over the last seven or so years that I've been investing, the more you understand, the more that you learn about different stocks or ETFs, it's going to help you make better decisions for your portfolio moving forward. Another one of my favorite websites that I use honestly almost every single day is DividendChannel.com. Now, DividendChannel.com has a ton of useful different tabs, but my favorite of all is on DividendChannel.com, going right here to calculator and basically, you can type in any different stock or ETF and compare it to things with the S&P 500, and with a click of the button, you can then see exactly how much whatever stock or ETF you typed in would have returned over a certain time period with $10,000 invested, with dividends reinvested along the way, with dividends not reinvested along the way. You can get a very detailed breakdown of performance of whatever stock or ETF you want with just a few clicks of a button. Now, honestly, I like to use this website specifically to see how much ETFs have, have returned over time comparing it to the S&P 500 to see maybe there's something out there that's even beat this buy. But all in all, it's really fun to come on DividendChannel.com, mess around with different stocks or ETFs, see their performance over different start dates, end dates, and just see how much money you could have made historically by investing into different things. My next favorite useful website that I use quite often, not as much as the last few probably, but, but still quite often is StockAnalysis.com. Now, StockAnalysis.com is a really clean interface. It's really easy once again to type in any stock or ETF. For this example, we typed in Realty Income, and you can see right here different things like overview, financials, which side note on this website specifically, I like using the financials tab to see in a very clean concise way how much different companies have made over time you can look at things like revenue gross profit operating income and then of course there's also a sub tab for balance sheet where you can see exactly what things
things are looking like for whatever stock you look into. Along with that on stockanalysis.com, if you click on dividends, it shows you once again, very clean, big and bold, different things like the dividend yield, different things like annual dividend amount, things like the up and coming X dividend date, et cetera. Also scrolling down, it shows you all the dividends that a company or ETF has paid over time, which again is just really nice to look at and can definitely be some useful information when you're doing your research. But maybe my favorite thing of all, and I do get a lot of questions about this right here, is forecast. So on stockanalysis.com, you can basically type in any different stock and get an analysis and see exactly what different analysts think of a stock as far as a 12 month forecast goes. And this can be extremely useful just to help you sort of see what the general consensus is of a stock that you might have an interest in. So for stockanalysis.com specifically, I personally really like using the forecast tab and of course the financials tab, like I said, just because although you can find basically the same things on different stock websites, for whatever reason on this website specifically, I really, really like how it's all laid out. The next stock market website that's super useful, this is a little bit more advanced, so keep in mind, this might not necessarily be that useful to you until you get a little bit familiar with things. The website we're talking about is finbiz.com and this is a really good website if you want to use a screener function and basically you can go in here and build out a screener. Look for different stocks that offer different things. Like let's say for example, you're screening for a stock that's yielding over 4% and has an average volume of over 300,000. Then instantly it's going to create a massive, massive screener and show you all the names that fit within the parameters that you're looking for. Now, like I said, this is sort of going to be a little bit more advanced. You're not really going to be building out screeners until you're probably a few years into your investing career. But this is something that I remember doing on Saturday nights when I was bored, when I first started investing. And it's really fun to build out different screeners and once again, research and figure out if different stocks might fit within what you're looking for. Now, the last useful website that I don't really go on as much anymore, but I definitely did in the early days of my investing career is Yahoo Finance. Now, I'm sure everyone's basically heard of Yahoo Finance that are watching this video, and a lot of you guys have obviously probably been on the website, but basically Yahoo Finance pretty much offers everything you're looking for as far as stocks. You can look up different information about different stocks or ETFs with the click of a button in the search bar, but one of my favorite things about Yahoo Finance is utilizing the heat map feature. Now the heat map feature, basically you can go through here and edit different things like mid cap, large cap, different size companies, and it'll basically give you a heat map, show you exactly how much a stock is up or down on a given day, which, which I think is a very fun tool, especially if you're in your early days of investing. For whatever reason, when I first started investing, I love to have this sort of open on one of my tabs throughout the trading day, just, just to see sort of what some of my favorite or what some of the largest stocks were doing on a daily basis. And the heat map feature is honestly still to this day, one of my favorite aspects of Yahoo Finance altogether. But of course, other than that, you can type in random stock or ETFs. You can look at things like different charts. You can basically get all the information that you would ever need all here on one website and all for free. So there we have it, guys. Those are five different useful websites that I still use on a daily basis, at least some of them, to help with things like stock research, ETF research, or of course, stock picking. Now, out of all five of those websites, I want to hear from you guys down below. If you think there's a stock website or resource out there that is number one above all, drop it in the comments down below. Let me see what you guys think. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by. And if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.